Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Susie Thompson. Australian Jessica Fox has become the most decorated Olympic paddler of all time, winning gold in the single canoe slalom. The 30-year-old had a flawless run in the final, four seconds quicker than her German opponent. Penny Smith has claimed bronze in women's trap shooting and Natalia Deem has won a bronze medal in the BMX freestyle event. Tokyo gold medalist Logan Martin failed to stick his tricks, finishing outside the medals. Molly O'Callaghan and Shayna Jack have finished fourth and fifth in the 100 metres freestyle. The Matildas have gone down 2-1 to the USA in their last group game, but if Colombia and France both have wins today, the Tillies will advance to the quarterfinals. Suspected contaminated Australian beef is being investigated in connection with China's doping saga at the last Tokyo Olympics. 23 Chinese swimmers were quietly acquitted after testing positive to an illegal drug in the lead-up to the Games. The Telegraph reports Chinese state security services have tested beef imports from Australia, suspecting it could be the source. Israel's Prime Minister has addressed his nation after its strike on Beirut and the assassination of the Hamas political leader. Ismail Haniya was assassinated in Iran and Hamas has vowed to retaliate. The European Union has urged all sides to avoid escalation but Benjamin Netanyahu says they will not stop in their pursuit for victory. As it is for Israel, we will continue to fight together and with God God's help together, we will reign victorious. That translation, thanks to Sky News. Car insurance is the most complained about insurance product reported to the Australian Financial Complaints Authority in the year ending June 30. There's been a 21% surge in complaints, many about delays amid a shortage of workers in the car repair industry. Sport and entertainment are next. In sport, the Melbourne Storm has granted centre Remus Smith an immediate release to join the English Super League. Collingwood legend Scott Pendlebury is preparing for his 400th AFL game. And former Wallabies forward Rob Liotta has signed with the Waratahs for the next Super Rugby season. In entertainment news, Hollywood actress Maya Rudolph is set to return as US Vice President Kamala Harris on Saturday Night Live during this year's election campaign. The latest season of SNL will premiere in late September. And that's the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you later on for another update. I'm Susie Thompson.